patreon.com slash the walk off podcast uh four dollars a month gets you in there so shy i don't know if you have anyone in your friend group that has a thing with words i used to have a friend that if you used the word moist around her she got all weird and squirrely and i think it's safe to say that that word or those words for carlos correa is pending physical right <laughs> that that those two words has cost this man probably more money than any two words has ever cost anyone in the history of humans wow. uh, ken rosenthal reported just this morning that this twins deal looks like it's a go um out of curiosity, how validating do you think this is what has happened with the Mets for John Mara and the Giants ownership? Because they've got a they've got to be looking a lot better to their fan base now, right? I mean, sure. Ultimately, look, you know, the, the twins were still willing uh to to guarantee 200 million to him, right? It's uh <laughs> that's not an insignificant sum of money. And the twins will have known him more intimately than anyone other than the Astros, you know, having spent the, the past year with them, been able to examine him and talk to him on a daily basis, have their trainers work with him daily. Uh, you know, there's, there's a level of exposure that comes to that, that you just can't get otherwise. The, the, to me, the, the bigger issues here, there, there are a bunch of things that will reverberate around the industry for a while. Right. And that's, you know, Everybody, for different reasons, is in a rush to sort of leak deals as soon as they're agreed to. And is that maybe going to change? Uh, you know, is the Korea situation going to be cha- going to change? Excuse me, do agents start doing some things a little bit differently in terms of maybe getting their players physical on their own beforehand, just to be sort of aware of potential issues or things that may come up for teams? Uh, I know in certain cases with certain players who've had you know, checkered in, in, injury histories, uh, you know, and uh, agents have, have done work to sort of preempt the concerns of teams by getting them examined beforehand. So like there are a number of different elements to this. Uh, ultimately, if you want the player and you believe in the player and you have enough trust in the player's ability to perform in the contract, you're going to do the deal. And if you're the twins, this is this is played out in a in a way that you could not have imagined. Like you can have been better, right? You go into the offseason, you made this massive swing, you were opportunistic the previous spring, and it worked out great. And then you figure, okay, he's gonna go to the market and get a ridiculous number that we can't keep pace with. And then he does. And then that falls apart. And then he gets another number that's really good. And then that falls apart. You can just kind of stay engaged. And because of the, the concerns of others, you're able to get him at a number far lower than you were willing to guarantee earlier and <clears throat> gives you a ton of credibility in the market. It's franchise changing in a number of different ways. And it really helps shift the balance of power a, a little bit in the American League Central for a, a significant period of time, especially with the White Sox in flux and you know, Cleveland working within its own limitations. So, you know, it's a, it's a really significant development in a number of ways. This whole process for him will reverberate in a number of different ways on a number of different levels across baseball for a while. Um, and, and I think it's really incredibly fascinating with a lot of cautionary tales and important lessons. How much of the blame for this chaos that was his free agent year here uh, lie at the feet of Scott Boris? I- I don't know. I, I know some people who think that and it's people who are very anti-Boris, you know, uh, he's obviously a polarizing figure, both among (laughs) team executives, fans and rival agents as well. uh, Right. Who don't like the way that he does business. And, but let's put it this way. If there was nothing in in that physical that to raise concerns, then we're not having this discussion. He did a great job. Mm -hmm. Right. Ultimately it's, the fact that Korea had something that created red flags and you can make the case that the agent should have handled things differently and maybe should have anticipated that or whatever it may be. But I, I don't know that it's sort of fair to pin, pin it. And you look at, you know, Boris's work with the, the amount of contracts that huge contracts that he's gotten done this off season, other off seasons, 
I mean, he's had a couple billion dollar off seasons in terms of signings. I mean, it's really tough to argue against that. <laughs> All right, Chai, we won't keep you any longer. We love talking Blue Jays and baseball with you. Thank you so much for coming back on the show, my man. All the best in 2023. And uh, you know darn well, we'll bug you again down the road to come back on. So thanks again, man. Yeah, no worries.